Hey guys, well, you're in for a treat today. Ultimately, if you're looking to create that amazing tropical plant paradise at home, then the polka dot begonia is the clear choice for so many reasons. In this video, I'm going to be covering everything you need to know to grow a healthy and thriving angel wing begonia in terms of watering, light, soil, and so much more. Once you have the basics covered, this is a relatively easy to grow houseplant that is a quick grower, sure to be the highlight of your plant collection. If you're interested in everything, crucial care tips for the begonia maculata, then this is the video for you. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm Tyler, and if you like what you're seeing or you find this video to be useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, or better yet, you can subscribe to my channel. These plants are native to Brazil and can grow up to three, four, maybe even five feet if you get things right. These are one of those really rare beauties that are showers and growers. The Begonia Maculata YDI, or simply known as the Polka Dot Begonia, definitely takes pride of place in my living room. If I came to your place, what plant or object is the focal point? What takes center stage? Sound off in the comments down below. All right, let's jump right into it and let me explain what type of lighting you should be providing your Begonia Maculata. These plants need a good amount of light. They are not low light plants. They can even tolerate some direct light. These cane begonias really do need bright, indirect light. Bonus points if you can provide some direct morning sunlight as well. In terms of watering, you are going to have the most success if you really let these plants, the soil and the roots dry out before you water them. Don't be afraid to really let it dry out and then give it a really good soak. By using a terracotta pot and saucer like I have here, you're also really allowing for any of that excess water to be absorbed by the pot and the saucer, and that's typically a good thing. I really like these pots from Ikea, A, because the price is right, but B, because they have this really high-rimmed saucer, and that allows me to water this plant from the base. This helps with avoiding any sort of over-watering, but also any type of root rot. Sometimes I have to give it a couple of waterings from the bottom because the rim and the saucer and the pot only really allow for so much water to fill in there. So if it absorbs super quickly, then that's a really good indication to me that I'll provide it with a second sort of uh, bottom watering. If you're interested in more content like this, give this video a thumbs up or share some comments down below. If you really want to show me some love, click on that bell for alerts and notifications for new content. Like I mentioned, sometimes these plants are referred to as cane begonias, and that's because of their cane-like stems. And to keep them looking their best, it's really a good idea to throw in a couple of stakes in there just so that the plant can really um, grow upwards. The only advice I would give is I kind of hesitate or um, wouldn't advise you to sort of tie them to the stakes because that can kind of impede their growth and any of that new growth coming out. So basically these guys are just really leaning on the stakes. They're not connected to them or attached to them in any sort of way. 
in terms of pot size or repotting these plants. They do actually prefer to be slightly root bound, which means that you ideally should be keeping them in the same pot probably for a couple of years before you start to think about, you know, upping the size of the pot or repotting them. Fertilization is a good idea as well. I use a diluted, well-balanced liquid fertilizer in the summer or in the growing season. Check out the new growth I have on my cane begonia. Now you will start to see some new canes sprout from the base of the pot, which is amazing, as well as new foliage at the top of your existing canes. So I'll be sure to throw in some footage of that. Well, that's it for me. Oh yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or hit that subscribe button. Miss you guys already, until the next one.